Welcome, Model Railroaders. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I'll show you what I've been up to for, I guess, a few days. I guess. I kind of lost count. <laughs> so, I got the ballast done through here and some scenery. Uh, this is Arcadia area. Um, now all this stuff is all gone. The diamond's gone. When Nickel Plate bought it, they changed it up a little bit. I don't know what year. And then after that was NW, then NW changed it. This is so weird. I looked it up on the internet to see if, because my friend Aaron, he lives over there in Arcadia, and it ain't this stuff ain't here no more. So I looked it online. It's the dumbest thing I've ever, ever seen, but I'm not the railroad. So they have a switch here, probably about down here someplace, and they have a switch down here. One single piece of track, and they're constantly fighting trying to who gets through because there's only one piece of track contracts you know it, it's silly so anyway this is like in the 30s 40s area somewhere around there um so you come down this way you got bows now we're towards in a finley north finley it, 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 like again the tower's gone and everything but the track's all there um this curvature is still there but it's not attached to csx so and I put my brother's abandoned train in there. I got Rusty's junkyard. I named it after my dog. Uh, there is a junkyard over in Finley's called a and r And their road is over here someplace. It goes straight across. But I had to squeeze everything in. I didn't want to have the road come here and go straight. Because it won't, it won't, to me, it ain't, it ain't right. Because the road's clear over here someplace. So that's why I curved it here. Got a tree growing out of it. And what you see, those are uh, sedum trees. I went to my local Dow tree and got me a bunch of these for a buck. Drilled a bunch of holes. Wire, string. And I painted them green first. Let them set for an hour. Then I did a uh, glue 50-50 mixture. And I just dunked them in. Out again. Dunk. And done it about three times. And then you just shake it off. Then you put the wooden thing grass on it and you're, you're good to go. And I made some for I made some for my dad for his old scale layout. So there's some old scale trees I got to put up. And what else have I been doing? Oh yeah, the, here. Hang on. I did some ballast work over here. I ain't done on this side yet because I need to put a couple switches to go into that one area. Like I was telling you guys, I haven't done that yet. Um, worked over here. Did some ballast boy four bottles of ballast didn't go very far and that's what it looks like and i'm gonna plant some trees in here maybe plant some more trees up in here or something um somebody asked me a question about the layout when did i start this i have to look because i when i first built the layout it was only from it was only 13 by 12 that's what it was 13 by 12 when i first started and then I was like, ah, and then it was just a loop. And the train went underneath the layout and came around. It was okay, but after we uh, moved here, the upgrade was too steep. So I had to rip all that out and redo it, which is all right. Um, I think February of 2019 is when I, a year ago, I think I did all this. Um, it, it didn't happen overnight. It just happened. I think the parts I got down here. I think I started in December. I have to look on my Facebook page. But I think I started, it ended here. That's only how big of the yard. It was just trains I could pull in and pull out. That's all it was. A couple of buddies, they helped me build the rest of this. And this is what it came to. And somewhere in February of last year, built all that. So I got some time. So I'll show you, I, wanna, I forget when I built this big old monster layout, but now it's, uh, the garage is, uh, I think it's 25 by 40. So now the end of that section there to clear down there, that's 40 feet of track. So yeah, it's pretty big. So I'll show you where, when I built this layout. Before I get to it, I'm going to show you what else I've been doing. Got all the grass put in place. Got the town somewhat done. 
Walters has these planters I'm thinking about buying. I'm gonna put some here, around here. Think about scratch building an HO layout inside this here because the roof is removable. And I thought about putting the clothesline through here. I thought that'd be kind of neat for a detail. And I got the uh, ballast work all finished with a little bit of scenery. Looks pretty good. I'm, I'm really happy with it. So I'm going to plant some trees in behind here is what I was thinking. It's looking good. I know my table's a mess. So I'm going to show you the date I built this because I'm not 100% sure when I built this layout. This, like I said, from where that mountain is from there to where I'm standing is about 13 feet. So it's it's 12 feet, oops, 12 feet that way, and it's 13 feet this way. So I'll show you the the date code. Recording. There it is. It's when I built it. 2018. So, because it was right over here at one time, and I had to move it over here. <laughs> I was looking everywhere for it, but oh no, and I found it. So that's why I always put the date when I started on it. Um, so yeah. And this was my first attempt of doing trees with sedum, which didn't turn out too good. You know, the more you keep bumping it, the more they flake off. So now I know what to do. I thought about cutting these out. I got a person down here on the swing. I'm just replanting them. And I got some people in the barbecue and, and stuff. So that's a lot of detail. And so I got some trees coming from my mountain. Yay. And then I uh, thought about painting the top of it white and stuff. That's what I was thinking. So, all right. Um, I'm going to show you a video how I make my roads. Make them out of place, man. But I'll show you how I weather them. So, let's see what happens.